You know, it's normally my policy to uh, not talk about Chelsea Handler at all. That's an easy rule to abide by, given that she rarely does or says anything worth talking about. But this week, after her Daily Show episode, which very unpersuasively touted the wonders of childlessness, um, I was forced to violate that policy. And now today, in a truly unprecedented moment in the history of the show, I will violate it for the second time in a week. Uh, After some of us in conservative media critiqued her pitch for the childless lifestyle, Handler has now fired back with another video. And her rebuttal, of course, does not actually address any of the points that we made. Instead, she just lobs insults. But that's not what I find objectionable, okay? I'm, I'm not above lobbing an insult or two myself on occasion, as we just covered. My, my real problem is that the insults are, as we've come to expect from Ms. Handler, witless and unimaginative and boring. Uh, let's watch. Hey everyone, I woke up this morning, well, more like this afternoon, and noticed that there was an emergency meeting of the receding hairline society to discuss a comedy video I filmed about not wanting kids. Wow, why would I even need my own children when I get to hear these crybabies all the time? I mean, I can't believe that bearded version of Tucker Carlson thinks I would take a half a bottle of Xanax I take way more than that, you silly goose. Look, I don't want to debate whether or not I'm a girl boss, although I did just look at my bank account and think, that's pretty girl boss. And then I thought about the 10 different people, plus 10 plus different people I've been able to put through college. And then I remembered my six New York Times bestselling books. Or was it five? Oh, no, 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 it was six. And then I remember my recent stand-up special that was just released on Netflix called Revolution. And I thought, yeah, you are a girl boss. You guys seem so triggered by me. I mean, my goodness, Tucker, I think it is time for you to ask yourself a serious question. Are you really upset about how much freedom I have? Or are you upset that you haven't been able to take it away from me yet? Oh, and quick shout out to Ben Shapiro. Thank you for helping my cause of not having children. Who needs the birth control pill when your voice is 100% effective? I don't need a husband, Ben, because I'm in a relationship with myself. And at least in my relationship, someone can get a woman to And by all means, Tucker, if you want to respond to my triggers, I will be happy to keep putting out videos as long as you want. I think we both know that you are hate masturbating to me. And I'm down with that. Okay, let's uh, review a few things here, Chelsea. First of all, nobody is saying that you shouldn't have the freedom to be childless. It's not about freedom. I mean, not exactly. I mean, you did kill your three children in order to achieve your childless status, and I don't think that you should have had the freedom to do that. But nobody is saying that women should be forced to conceive children. If you want to be a lonely spinster, that is your prerogative. We're simply offering our opinion about statements you made and opinions you expressed on national television in front of a live studio audience. Um, And it was not just a comedy video. It was, in fact, a 10-minute rant about being childless, a rant which contained nothing that anyone with a sense of humor could recognize as comedy. But comedy or not, You brought up the subject. You submitted your private life for public consideration, and we took it into consideration. We did exactly what you wanted us to do. You wanted us to think about and talk about you. It's just that you also wanted to control what we think and say, and that's where it all breaks down. You see, it doesn't work that way, Chelsea. You can make yourself the center of attention, but you cannot exercise control over the manner of the attention you receive. So you can stand on the rooftops and shout, look at my lifestyle, isn't it great? but you can't force us to answer yes to that question. As we're all aware, the left is uh, giving up common sense and has crazy ideologies. This Lent, we're gonna combat that with a solid foundation in faith values and standing up above their hypocrisy. With Lent starting on Ash Wednesday, February 22nd, there is no better time to build a habit of prayer and meditation to stay rooted than now. Pray every single day leading up to Easter on Hallow, the number one Christian prayer app in the US helps me maintain a daily prayer routine, and it can help you too. Download the app for free at hallow.com slash Matt Walsh. You can set prayer reminders and track your progress along the way. Not sure where to start? Well, check out Father Mike Schmitz's Bible in a Year, available on the Hallow app for brief daily uh, Bible readings and reflections. Or you can pray alongside Mark Wahlberg and even some world-class athletes. With Hallow, you can customize a personal prayer plan that works for you. Listen on the way to work, on a plane in the morning or at night with downloadable offline sessions and customized uh, lengths with with, uh, anywhere from one to 60 minute options. Stay rooted in your faith and your values and make this year your year for spiritual growth and peace. Get an exclusive three month free trial at hallow.com slash Matt Walsh. That's hallow.com slash Matt Walsh. Second, predictably your entire rebuttal, aside from complaining that people are talking about you even after you did everything in your power to get us to talk about you, 
consists of insulting the looks of your critics and making crass comments about their sex lives and so on. I wasn't surprised by this because it is the standard left-wing feminist response to literally all criticism. And since you included me in the receding hair uh, committee, uh, I'm a ranking member, I might add, let me try to explain something to you. It's just important. It's a tip you can take uh, with you, uh, you know, for the rest of your life. Um, I'm a married man in my late 30s with six kids. Ben is a married man with kids. So are Jesse K- Kelly and Tucker Carlson. You aren't going to hurt us by telling us that we're unattractive. And the reason is simply that we don't need you to find us attractive. As men, see, we're all about utility and inf- efficiency and practicality, which means that we're secure in the knowledge that we each only needed to find one woman who, for whatever inexplicable reason, found us physically appealing. And we did, so we won the game. The opinion of other women, especially a woman like yourself, is rendered totally irrelevant. Now, on the other hand, If you are, say, a single 47-year-old woman who looks and sounds like a 65-year-old lifelong smoker, then glaring physical deficiencies can potentially become a real problem. See, Chelsea, none of the people involved in this dispute, neither the men you name nor you yourself, would qualify as physically beautiful. For only one of us is alone with our mediocre appearance. Third, Chelsea, if you're really happy, then... There's nothing we can say to convince you otherwise, and we aren't trying to convince you of anything. Yet society is full of people constantly dancing in the streets, waving pom-poms in the air, shouting into megaphones about how, they, how they're you know, so proud of themselves and so happy with their lifestyle choices. You're just one in a large crowd carrying on this way. I can't help but notice that there's a certain and unmistakable insecurity to the whole routine. If you're truly happy with how you've chosen to live and confident in those choices, then you wouldn't feel the need to announce the fact. And you certainly wouldn't get all bent out of shape by people who criticize you and respond with a video insulting the looks and listing your professional achievements. I mean, in your your original segment, in order to convince us that you're happy, you showed us photos from your Instagram. Because, of course, we all know that nobody's ever painted a misleading and rosy picture of their own lives on Instagram. Indeed, Instagram is renowned for giving totally unvarnished and completely accurate insights into the lives of others. Everyone knows that if somebody looks happy on Instagram, they must be really happy people. We all know that. And then in this video, you added to your happiness resume by talking about your Netflix special and your best-selling books. I'm beginning to detect a whiff of desperation here, Chelsea. I don't believe that you're really all that happy. And what's more, I don't believe that you believe it. Our culture is full of people trying to convince themselves that they're happy by convincing everyone else first. It's a sad spectacle to watch, frankly. And if I keep watching, I'll wind up as sad as you. So instead, I will leave you to your pretend happiness and simply say, you are today canceled. That'll do it for the show today. uh, As we move over to the members block, if you want to become a member, you can use code Walsh at checkout for two months free on all annual plans. Hope to see you over there. If not, talk to you on Monday. Uh, or rather on Tuesday, because it's President's Day. Godspeed.